gather around disheveled ones and welcome to cherry pop today i'm going to go over and hang out with some friends and watch some movies we discussed well, what are we going to watch? It was suggested to like, let's bring trash flicks. I've got that. So what did I pick? The Necrophiles. This is a visual vengeance release. They really knock it out of the park on their Blu-rays. This one, as you can see, has a nice little slip cover. On the inside, you got this version. And I'll show you the other one here in a moment. You get the retro stickers inside the set, which... I really love these stickers. Down in the comments, let me know, do you use those stickers? Because I'm so like, ah, I don't want to use them up. I want to keep them fresh. But you know, I don't know. Kind of feels like wasteful to not use it. Uh, is that a necrophile condom? Producer Jamie? Oh, it's not for human use. Producer Jamie. Um, also, uh, in these you get uh, the little little mini poster, which that is really cool too. Man, just I really want to I want to use this stuff. You know, want to see you on my wall. It also has like a little uh, Blu-ray insert here with uh, some cool art, and then like a little you know credits. Thing. And then let me show you the flip cover. Do you think I'm going to like this movie? I'm kind of like 40, 60 on uh, enjoying shot on video movies. Let's find out. I've got my pop and I'm ready to watch. Okay, so I had to sleep on this one and I had to shit, shower, and shave. Whew, I wasn't ready for that one. The Doug before... The Dissolve has no clue what he was about to watch. That movie was gory trash. Okay, are they gone? Did they click away? That movie was a gory, trashy masterpiece. I absolutely loved it. Now, I was fortunate enough to see it with friends, so maybe that swayed my opinion of it. Award going to horniest zombie ever goes to uh, that big Dong Logan. I mean, that dude, wow. Now, is this movie for everyone? No, absolutely not. Uh, as you know, this is a shot on video. Also, there are certain triggers in this movie that could cause some issues as well. So make sure you research the movie before you watch it because it's got some. You start the movie off with a, uh, a girl um, taking a shower without a fucking shower curtain? Like, come on, I can understand being a little nervous after seeing Psycho, but come on now. But there is like a, a fascist fucking bucket head staring down at her. What's that gonna lead to? Well, we'll find out. <laughs> Bless Visual Vengeance's hearts for giving us subtitles. They could have very easily just slapped this together and not gave us subtitles, but they gave us subtitles. And um, there's actually, on this Blu-ray, there's also a uh, making of called uh, Dong of the Dead, which was really good. It also had the, I, I, I we'll call it the robot chicken style sequel, um, uh, the Necrophiles 3000. Um, because it's definitely like a robot chicken type of, you know, figurine type things making the movie. I don't know. We didn't watch that, but, you know, it's interesting. A couple of issues I, I do have with it is like the name, the Necrophiles. I know where they're going, you know, it's a play on the X-Files. And at the end, there's a little explanation of what the Necrophiles is. I think a better title would have been like Salone and Manners, taking care of business. Damn right. We're going to get that son of a bitch. <laughs> slaughtered my sister, Maggie. She's only one out of 200 chicks that motherfucker butcher. Or, you know, something like that. No, but that, seriously, that was definitely a thing going on. That whole sub storyline with uh, Manners and Salone. Holy shit. That was, that was, <laughs> that was epic, man. That was, that was pretty awesome. At first, I was, I, I was going to rant about the, 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 the video quality. Because it had all kinds of digital 
fucking glitches and stuff until we realized it was actually the Blu-ray player or the, I guess the state that it was in because once we rewound it a little bit uh, and played it quit doing that so uh, so the, the, the video quality was fine uh, it was literally just a glitch and it's as fun as a shot on video would be this one was from 1997 if, you, if you're into trauma and you want something either even more lower budget than trauma this movie's for you if you love gore this movie's for you if you're into demon slash zombie satanism Demon slash zombies that have big dongs. I mean, this is this is your this is your movie. I mean, this was the biggest dong I've seen since like Boogie Nights. I mean, this thing was huge. And if you're not into dongs, there's also a landing strip for you. This movie has it all. Have you seen the movie? Let me know down in the comments. What did you think about it? This is the first visual vengeance that I've actually made it through. I started watching LA AIDS and just, you know, I, I think I need to watch that in a different environment. <laughs> That's because, you know, it was kind of boring and you know wasn't really digging it and anytime you see wild eye you don't know what you're gonna get luckily this time they gave me some gold wait 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 stop your stupid signature outro shit that nobody actually makes it to answer me a question why, why didn't you mention the floating demon baby thing and and, and why didn't you mention Long Dong Zombie Demon Logan finding finding love? Why? Okay, whatever. Go ahead and do your little lame stay spooky shit. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Give me a like. After you watch the movie, uh, there's going to be a couple of you that are going to like probably get down in the comments and be very mad at me. And I'm sorry. But if you could, just stay spooky. Don't be so mad. And keep it to shovel. Try <laughs> no, <I'm dead. laughs> this is so <laughs> Just take off the fuck out of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Okay.